Thanks for agreeing to be our next TEFL guest, Marissa. Can you describe ELT chat to us in 140 characters or less? For me, ELT chat is a great meeting and sharing time every week for teachers with passion, generosity and motivation to be the best teacher they can be. I think this is a thought shared by many. Here is what some of the ELT chat participants said about it when I asked them your question. ELT chat is learning, sharing, reflecting, a great way to build a PLN, something to look forward to on Wednesdays and fun. ELT chat if brainstorming on a global scale. I love how you put the question out to the community. I actually saw your tweet and watched the responses emerge instantly. Twitter is a remarkable place to ask a question because of this immediacy. What is your specific role in ELT chat? I am one of the four moderators, Shelley Trill, Bernie Wall, Barbara Hoskins, Sakamoto and Sean Wilder. Are the other three? Some of the things we have to do as moderators are put up the blog posts inviting topics, set up a weekly poll for participants to vote for what they want to talk about, look through the questions and edit slash rewrite them to make them clearer, make announcements, keep people on track during the chat in case conversation gets sidetracked. Ask leading questions when the conversation seems to be slowing down, help newcomers who need some guidance, do the follow-up work. How is ELT chat useful in your career as a teacher trainer? ELT chat is a great discipline for me, both as a teacher and as a teacher educator. Moderating online conversations is no easy task and it's a great exercise in striking a fine balance between elicitation and dissemination of information. Teachers who participate have so much to share and I have learned so much from each and every one of them, that I consider moderating it as a recent but major boost in my own professional development as an ELT professional venturing out into an international community of peers.